Hey guys, and welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks Toy Room. I'm John, the Vintage Geek. And we're looking at my random Jedi slash dark side, light side, dark side shelf. Three and three quarter inch figures. Nihilus, Malgus. Got Mara Jade, Starkiller. Some of the... I like that guy back there. He's like Captain Picard if he was a Jedi. <laughs> but today we're going to head back to, you know, something different from my childhood. Before I got into Star Wars, before I got into G.I. Joe, I got into the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Legend of the Lone Ranger by Gabriel. And I just saw these online a while ago. And I had to get them because they were reasonably priced and it just took me back to a, a time when, you know, before I had all this other stuff like Star Wars and G.I. Joe and stuff. The Lone Ranger. Pretty cool. I'll get these out of the packaging and we'll take a look at them. Or out of the, uh, I mean, I mean, out of the star case. I'm not going to open them because, I, I mean, I bought them to keep sealed. So I mean, I mean, I'm going to take them out of the star cases here. So just give me a second. All right, here we go. We'll take a look at the Lone Ranger first. The Lone Ranger from Gabriel. Ages four and up. Assortment three one six three zero. Good picture of the Lone Ranger on there. The Lone Ranger posable action figure. Look at him. He's pretty cool. His arms are starting to change color. Even in the packaging. Looks like 1970 Lone Ranger television. Got him riding on silver on the package there. The only flaw is up near the the bubble or the or the uh, the hole there, the whatever you call it, the punch hole. Gabriel Silver Bullet. I think he collected silver bullets to do a mail away. Recreating exciting scenes from the legend of the Lone Ranger. You could get the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Butch Cassidy, Buffalo Bill Cody, and General George Custer. You can get Silver Scout and Smoke. Silver was the Lone Ranger's horse. Scout belonged to Tonto. And I think Smoke was Butch Cavendish. Right? I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know who, who Smoke went to. One of those other three guys, right? It took more than courage to bring law and order to the early West. Only the Lone Ranger riding his... Great Stallion Silver with Tonto and Scout at his side could bring a desperate outlaw like Bert Butch Cavendish to justice. There was only one Texas Ranger left alive after the terrible ambush by Butch Cavendish and his gang. Wearing a black mask to protect his identity as the only survivor, the Lone Ranger prepared to capture the infamous Desperado. As a young brave, the Indian Tonto had named the Lone Ranger Kimo Sabe, trusted friend. Now he would ride courageously beside the Lone Ranger on his Pinto Scout, seeking truth and justice in the unnamed West. The Lone Ranger and Tonto knew no one was safe from Cavendish, not even President of the United States, when the outlaw kidnapped Ulysses S. Grant. Tonto and the Lone Ranger rushed to save the President's life, after a thundering cavalry charge led by Buffalo Bill and General Custer, the Lone Ranger and Tonto captured the evil Cavendish and delivered him safely into the arms of the law. Look at that. And this toy confirms the safety requirements. 1970 Gabriel Industries. Pretty cool action figure there. These are really nice cards. I, I like the way that these things look. Three and three quarter inch action figures that could sit on the horses. Tonto here. 
posable action figure. Tonto is the same uh, card as Lone Ranger. Tonto comes with two pistols there. Or a pistol and a knife. Sorry. One pistol and one knife. Where the Lone Ranger had two pistols. Yeah, a pistol there and a pistol there. Yeah. Back of the card for Tonto is exactly the same as for the Lone Ranger himself. Now I have seen some other versions of Tonto that came with a bow and arrow. But I don't know, I haven't seen a packaged one. I see loose figures like that all the time. So I don't know if they switched it at some point. I've got to find somewhere to do a lot of research on these guys. I wouldn't mind finding a bunch of loose figures with the horses, but um, they seem to be going for quite a bit. Every time I see them on auction, they go for quite a bit, especially if they've got their weapons and everything. So, I mean, we're talking hundreds of dollars, you know. Um, but I found these packaged. They were around 30 to $40 each, which is not too bad as far as I'm concerned. So... I think Lone Ranger was 30, but he's a little scuffed up, where Tonto was around 40. But he's got a much nicer card back, you know. So, just to give you an idea how much these guys are. Seems like the horses are more rare. I guess they broke a lot. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this run down memory lane with the legend of the Lone Ranger. With Gabriel action figures, the Lone Ranger himself and Tonto. Just taking a look at the packaging, the card art, all that stuff. If I get a loose figure at some point, we'll revisit this subject and take you through the articulation. They basically were head moved, arms moved, legs moved, and they had knee joints. So, uh, seven POA, basically, you could say, you know. But uh, if I get a loose one, we'll go through that whole deal. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.